Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Greg Marshall. Today I want to talk to you about how to avoid burnout. So I actually had a company reach out to me not too long ago talking about a subject of how they have high performers. And one of the things that they struggle with is people get burnt out because they're pushing themselves so hard. So here's a couple tips that you can use to avoid burnout, no matter if it's for work or if it's just for school or even if you're just at home. In order to avoid burnout, what you have to do first is I like to recommend working in a rhythm. So instead of trying to do a billion things and cram them all together and put the pressure on yourself of kind of fulfilling this crazy timeline, what I recommend is understand kind of your rhythms throughout the day. When are you the most focused, energetic, and when do you feel the least focused and motivated? And make sure that you put all of your high level work in this time slots where you feel the most motivated. And then when you feel more relaxed or you're not as driven, go ahead and uh, uh, block out some time for, for you to be able to relax and just chill out. And then when you get the motivation again, go ahead and go back to uh, whatever high level creative work that you need to do. The reason why this helps avoiding burnout is you have to fully detach from what you're doing in order to feel like you got to rest. And if you're just like constantly cramming things in and you're not taking a rest or a break, what you're going to do is you're going to burn out and over time you'll become less and less productive. And that's the exact opposite of what people typically are trying to do is they're trying to be more productive. But the wrong idea, I believe, is to try to keep doing more. You should actually just try to work more of the rhythm and then structure your days where you can actually have your highest level of energy during the times where you're the most focused and the lowest level activities or even rest during the times when you don't feel as driven. And if you do this, you're almost performing like an athlete, which is you're training, you're resting, you're training and you're resting. If you use this rhythm, I guarantee you'll get much better results and you'll be less stressed out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe to all that and uh, talk to you guys later.